friends myself dr darshan jani and today we learn about important topic of chemistry particularly for ty chemistry that is name reaction rearrangements and reagent right so let me start our new topic that is name reaction rearrangement and uh, reagent also don't miss to like and share the video subscribe the channel chemistry online by dr darshan jani and hit the bell icon to get regular notification for such important videos aur ha friend video ant tak zarur dekhe as you know all these topics are important according to university exam point of view and uh, about 25 to 30 minutes will take to complete revision of all the units right so let me start our first topic that is name reaction so friends first of all we should know what is name reaction so we can define the term name reaction as uh, any chemical reaction known after the name of their uh, developer or founder or discoverer then such chemical reaction is known as name reaction there are number of example for example wittig reaction then uh, here there is ant stirred synthesis right so all these reactions are the example of name reaction so here we start with uh, ant stirred synthesis so as we can see on the board that uh, it is a simple general method to convert acid into its higher homolog what is a higher homolog that is it contains one more carbon compared to the reactant or starting material so it is a method or simple method to convert acid into its higher homolog or its derivative such as ester or amide let's see what will happen so in reaction we can see on the board that when you react acid molecule with thionyl chloride that is SOCl2 it will be converted into RCOCl that is acid chloride when further it is react with diazomethane so it will be converted into alpha diazo ketone right so when this alpha diazo ketone in presence of catalyst silver oxide if we react friends it with water molecule then it will be converted into higher homolog acid if it is react with alcohol then it will be converted into higher homolog acid derivative that is ester and if it is react with ammonia then it will be converted into amide as a product so as we have already seen that uh, any reaction can be easily explained with the help of mechanism so let we discuss about mechanism of r ant stirred synthesis so as we can see here that uh, acid chloride right as we have discussed that acid will be react with uh, thionyl chloride to convert it into acid chloride so when this acid chloride react with diazomethane friends as we know n having partial positive charge so when n having partial positive charge then ch2 will get partial negative charge and when this ch2 will attack over carbonyl carbon of acid chloride this cl will loss in form of hcl and we will get such type of intermediate molecule now further one more molecule of diazomethane will act as a base and it will abstract proton from this ch2 and uh, remove in form of diazomethane as we can see here and we will get our intermediate product that is alpha diazo ketone now what will happen in presence of catalyst silver oxide that is ag2o this diazo group will loss in form of n2 and we will get carbene intermediate as we can see here in carbene intermediate ch having lone pair of electron so what will happen here this alkyl group with bonding pair of electron shifted to the ch and this bonding pair of ch will uh, shifted between this two carbon 
so this carbon will be converted into ketene as we can see here and ketene having a formula that is r ch double bond c double bond o now when this ketene is either react with alcohol as we have discussed we will get ester as a product if ketene is react with water molecule then we will get a higher homolog acid and if this ketene is react with ammonia then we will get amide as a product so by this mechanism we can easily define the reaction that is antiester synthesis now as we have already discussed that uh, any reaction can be well explained with the help of its application part or its example so let me see here how this uh, reaction is asked in question uh, of uh, university exam right so it can be explained with the help of application part there are two application there are number of application for this reaction but uh, here we will discuss about two reaction that is when you have two furoic acid and you will react it with thionyl chloride as we know the c double o h group right it will be converted into acid chloride that is cocl and this acid chloride when you react with diazomethane and then after silver oxide it will be converted into higher homolog acid that is ch2 c double o h so finally what will happen friends this two furoic acid will be converted into two furyl acetic acid there is one more example of ortho nitrobenzoic acid as we can see here when you react it with thionyl chloride then this acid will be converted into acid chloride and then after reaction of thionyl chloride uh, sorry acid chloride with diazomethane and silver oxide will gives ch2 c double oh that is ortho nitrobenzoic acid will be converted into ortho nitrophenyl acetic acid so by this way we can easily explain very important reaction uh, reaction that is antiester synthesis so friends next important reaction or we can also say that name reaction is bisler napierski reaction so it is a method or we can also say that easiest method or general method for the synthesis of isoquinol in derivative how it is carried out let's see right so as we can see here it is important method for the synthesis of isoquinol in derivative then the next step which is carried out in this reaction that is cyclo dehydration so dehydration that is loss of water molecule and uh, cyclo dehydration is basically carried out in presence of acidic reagent such as pocl3 p2o5 then pcl5 anhydrous zinc chloride as we can see here right so these are the reagent in presence of which the cyclo dehydration process is carried out then next step which is carried out in uh, bisler napierski that is uh, dehydrogenation so generally this dehydrogenation that is removal of hydrogen is carried out in presence of either palladium or selenium metal and uh, the main thing the reaction is carried out at low temperature and uh, the rate of reaction can be increases in presence of inert solvent such as benzene toluene nitrobenzene and many more right so as we have earlier seen that any reaction can be easily discussed with the help of reaction as well as mechanism so first of all we will see the reaction of this uh, bisler napierski as we can see here that uh, beta aryl ethylamine so next carbon to this uh, amine group is alpha and this one will becomes beta so beta aryl this is ethyl group beta aryl ethyl amine so when will we carry out reaction of beta aryl ethyl amine with uh, acetyl chloride which is called acetylation so this acetylation will give such type of intermediate product 
and then as we have already discussed here that uh, when it react with acidic reagent such as POCl3 so after loss of HCl and PO2Cl it will gives 3,4 dihydroisoquinoline as we can start numbering from here 1, 2, 3, 4 so it will gives 3,4 dihydroisoquinoline as a product and which will upon dehydrogenation in presence of metals such as palladium or selenium it will gives isoquinoline derivative as a product so when we discuss about uh, mechanism of such reaction so as we can see here that beta aryl ethylamine when react with acetyl chloride that is acetylation after loss of hcl it will give such type of intermediate product now what will happen friends the lone pair of nitrogen which is present here it will shifted between this carbonyl carbon and nitrogen to give here double bond now this pi bonding electron of carbonyl group is shifted over oxygen and it will attack to the phosphorus of pocl3 as we can see here so what will happen one of the chlorine from pocl3 will be removed in form of cl minus so we will get such type of intermediate product now in next step what will happen as we see we can see here that nitrogen having positive charge so the pi bonding electron from the aryl ring is attack over car this carbon and this pi bonding electron will be shifted over nitrogen to satisfy the charge of nitrogen and we will get such type of compound now as we discuss here when this pi bonding electron will attack over carbon as we know friends this carbon will get positive charge now to satisfy the charge of that positively charged carbon what will happen as we know here there is one proton is present so hydrogen will loss in form of H minus and this bonding electron will be shifted between these two carbon to satisfy the charge of carbon and uh, we will get such type of product or we can also say that intermediate now what will happen in next step the hydrogen which is present over nitrogen here it will loss and this bonding pair will be shifted over nitrogen and this lone pair of nitrogen will shifted between this carbon and nitrogen and here we will get double bond so what will happen this uh, co bond will be break and this bonding electron bit will be shifted between this phosphorus and oxygen and this cl will loss so after loss of hcl and again we can see here that PO2Cl we will get this uh, 3, 4 dihydro isoquinoline derivative and as we have already discussed that this 3, 4 dihydro isoquinoline derivative upon dehydrogenation in presence of either palladium or selenium metal it will be converted into isoquinoline derivative now friends further the application of this reaction can be further explained or helpful to us to define this uh, bisler napierski reaction so first and important application of bisler napierski is it is important method for the synthesis of most important terpenoid that is uh, alkaloid that is papaverin right and the next important application is orthomethoxy phenyl ethylamine as we can see here right when it will undergo acetylation what will happen as we have already discussed that uh, hcl will loss and we will get such type of intermediate then it will undergo reaction in presence or we can also say that cyclodehydration in presence of acidic reagents such as POCl3 after loss of HCl and PO2Cl as we have seen here right it will gives 3,4 dihydro isoquinoline derivative and last step as you know friends the reaction of 3,4 dihydro isoquinoline derivative with palladium will loss hydrogen 
right and gives us 5 methoxy isoquinoline as a product so by this way we can easily memorize two important name reaction that is ant ester synthesis and next one is bisler napierski reaction so friends next important part after name reaction is a rearrangement right so first of all it is important for us to define what is rearrangement so if we want to define the term rearrangement in single line then it can be defined as any step or reaction in which atom or groups migrate from one carbon to another carbon either by making or breaking sigma bond then such process is known as rearrangement so friends today we discuss about two important rearrangement out of which first one is courteous rearrangement so when we define courteous rearrangement as we can see on the board that uh, acid chloride react with sodium azide so what will happen this acid chloride will be converted into acyl azide and this acyl azide on thermal decomposition gives amine as a product so we can convert or we can say that conversion which is carried out by this courteous rearrangement is actually a conversion of acyl chloride to amine right so this process is known as courteous rearrangement as we can see here that uh, it is carried out generally in non aqueous solution right so as we have earlier discussed that uh, how uh, this uh, rearrangement is carried out so first of all we discuss about a reaction which is takes place in courteous rearrangement so as we can see here that when acyl chloride as we have discussed react with sodium azide this acyl acid chloride will be converted into acyl azide and the next step is thermal decomposition of acyl azide gives isocyanate as the intermediate after loss of nitrogen and this isocyanate upon hydrolysis gives our desired product that is amine with the loss of carbon dioxide molecule so as we have earlier discussed the next important part for any reaction or rearrangement that is mechanism how this conversion is actually carried out so when we discuss about mechanism so as we can see here that acid chloride react with sodium azide with the loss of nacl sodium chloride it will gives acyl azide as a product this acyl azide can also represent by this way now what will happen this nitrogen will loss in form of n2 and this lone pair of nitrogen is shifted between carbon and nitrogen so during thermal decomposition loss of nitrogen will carried out and we will get isocyanate as a product and this isocyanate upon hydrolysis will gives us desired product that is amine with loss of carbon dioxide so after discussing this reaction and mechanism we will discuss about example or application of courteous rearrangement so it can be defined as when acid chloride or acetyl chloride when react with sodium azide as we have discussed we will get acyl azide as a product which upon thermal decomposition after loss of n2 as we have discussed in mechanism it will be converted into isocyanate derivative and which upon hydrolysis or loss of carbon dioxide gives methylamine as a product and the next important example or application for courteous that is when we carried out thermal decomposition of any acyl azide loss of n2 will gives us isocyanate as we have discussed earlier then after in earlier example we react it with water right here we react it with alcohol 
so when we carried out reaction of isocyanate with alcohol we will get urethrin as a product so by this way we can easily define the Curtius rearrangement when we discuss about a next important rearrangement that is benzyl benzylic acid rearrangement so it can be defined as when one to diketone undergo rearrangement in presence of strong base then it will gives alpha hydroxy carboxylic acid as a product how this carried out let's see with the help of reaction mechanism and application part so in reaction we can see that when benzyl is react with a strong base that is potassium hydroxide koh in water or ethanol as a solvent at 100 degree centigrade we will get such type of alpha hydroxy carboxylic acid or salt of alpha hydroxy carboxylic acid how this uh, conversion is carried out it can be defined with the help of mechanism that when you react benzyl with strong base OH- as a nucleophile will attack over carbonyl carbon this pi bonding electron will be shifted over oxygen and oxygen will get negative charge so we will get such type of intermediate product now what will happen friends this negatively charged oxygen this negative charge will be shifted between carbon and oxygen so here there is double bond and this phenyl with its bonding electron it will be shifted towards the next carbonyl carbon and pi bonding electron of carbonyl again shifted over oxygen in form of negative charge so we will get such type of intermediate product which will rearrange to gives alpha hydroxy carboxylic acid or as we have discussed here the salt of alpha hydroxy carboxylic acid when we discuss about application or example for benzyl benzylic acid rearrangement then uh, there is one important application for uh, benzyl benzylic acid that is when we carried out cyclic diketone will undergo same type of rearrangement then it will leads to ring contraction that is six member ring will be converted into five member ring as we can see here that uh, one two dicyclohexane or we can also say that cyclohexane one two dione when you react it with same mechanism in presence of strong base then it will gives ring contraction that is conversion of this uh, one to diketone into alpha hydroxy cyclic compound having smaller ring which is known as ring contraction so by this way we can easily memorize the second part of this chapter that is rearrangement by two important rearrangement that is Curtius and benzyl benzylic acid rearrangement so friends next important part of this chapter that is reagent after discussing name reaction rearrangement the third and last part of this chapter that is reagent so first of all we should know about term reagent so term reagent can be defined in single line as substance or a compound or a chemical compound which is used to cause the chemical reaction is known as reagent right so in this chapter in this syllabus there are two important reagent that is lithium aluminum hydride and sodamide so we will discuss about these two reagent in detail right friends we have already discussed or you also know about lithium aluminum hydride as it is also in the syllabus of 12 science but today we discuss in certain detail of this uh, reagent as we all know that is lithium aluminum hydride is good reducing agent right it is uh, more reactive and less selective reagent which is generally used for the reduction purpose today we discuss about 
these two reagent in two part that is preparation and next part is application and uses so first of all friends we discuss about preparation of lithium aluminum hydride so as we can see on the board that preparation of lithium aluminum hydride is carried out mainly in two parts first one is synthesis of lithium hydride and next one is conversion of lithium hydride to lithium aluminum hydride so how this is carried out let's see first one is when uh, at normal temperature when we react lithium with hydrogen then hydrogen will absorb over lithium but at 700 degree centigrade when we react hydrogen with lithium it will react with hydrogen and converted into lithium hydride as we can see in reaction that two molecules of li react with h2 gas to gives lithium hydride as a product and next method for synthesis of lithium hydride is given by scientist guants right and c carried out the synthesis uh, he carried out the synthesis of same reagent from lithium nitride as we can see here that two molecules of lithium nitride react with trilithium nitrogen react with three molecules of h2 gas to gives lithium hydride six moles of lithium hydride with loss of n2 gas so by this two way we can easily synthesize lithium hydride then after synthesis of lithium hydride when we react it with aluminum trichloride in dry ether then it will be converted into lithium aluminum hydride as we can see in reaction that when you react four molecules of lithium hydride with aluminum trichloride it will be converted into lithium aluminum hydride with a loss of three molecules of lithium chloride so by this way we can easily carried out preparation of lithium aluminum hydride then when we discuss about next part of reagent that is application and uses so when we carried out reaction of primary and secondary alkyl halide with lithium aluminum hydride it will be converted into alkane as we can see here in example that when you react four molecules of alkyl halide with lithium aluminum hydride it will be converted into alkane with loss of lithium bromide and aluminum tribromide as a by product the next important part that is carboxylic acid converted to alcohol so as we can see here that when you react acid molecule with uh, lithium aluminum hydride that is lh followed by acidic hydrolysis gives us alcohol as a product with loss of water molecule then third one is when we carried out reduction of ketone molecule with the same reagent then it will be converted into secondary alcohol as we can see here and fourth one is when we react it with ester molecule then it will be converted into again alcohol with less number of carbon so this will becomes the application part of lithium aluminum hydride the last one is uses of lithium aluminum hydride so as you all know that uh, lithium aluminum hydride is mainly used for reduction purpose in organic synthesis so friends second important reagent that is sodamide as we can see on the board that uh, formula for sodamide that is NaNH2 so let we start from preparation of sodamide so preparation of sodamide can be carried out while we carried out reaction of liquid ammonia with sodium metal in presence of ferric salt that is FeNO3 twice into 6H2O then we will get sodamide as a product with h2 gas as a by product as we can see on the board which are the characteristics or properties of sodamide so it react violently with water to gives NaOH and ammonia as a product while it will react very slowly with alcohol when we want to store 
sodamide then it can be stored in a sealed container which prevent contact of sodamide from air right also it is covered with uh, solution like benzene toluene and kerosene and slowly added to the alcohol with continuous stirring right so these are the important characteristics or properties of sodamide when we carried out work with sodamide right we have to consider such type of precaution from the properties or characteristics of sodamide let we discuss about uses and applications of sodamide so sodamide is used as a dehydrating agent in preparation or production of indigo and hydrogen also it is work as a intermediate for synthesis of sodium cyanide and also it is used for ammonolysis and alkylation of nitriles and ketones right so these are the uses or applications of sodamide last one is uh, when we carried out reaction of bromostyrene as we can see here when it react with sodamide it will be converted into this type of intermediate that is phenylacetylene further it's react with sodamide to give sodium salt and then after the reaction of this sodium salt with water will gives us our desired product that is phenyl acetylene then next one is it is also used for the preparation of higher ketones how it is carried out so when we carried out reaction of ketone with sodamide it will remove one atom of hydrogen from the ch3 and we will get sodium salt here then next it react with alkyl halide so after loss of sodium iodide it will gives ketone having one more carbon that is a preparation of higher ketones then next one is alkynes to carboxylic acid so when we react alkynes with sodamide it will again it will gives a uh, remove this hydrogen and gives sodium salt of alkyne then reaction of the sodium salt with carbon dioxide followed by water molecule it will gives acid right so by this way we can convert alkynes to carboxylic acid with the help of sodamide and last one is alkynes to higher alkynes can be converted with the help of sodamide as we can see here that when we carried out reaction of any alkyne with sodium in liquid ammonia it will gives sodium salt of alkyne which will react with alkyl halide to gives replacement of this one hydrogen with alkyl group and the repetition of same step will gives of higher alkynes so friends by this way we can easily memorize two reagent that is lithium aluminum hydride and sodamide also friends don't miss to like and share the video subscribe the channel chemistry online by dr darshan jani and hit the bell icon to get regular notification for such important videos thank you thank you very much